What's going on YouTube? I'm Phil. Guys, I'm just walking around here, uh, getting a little bit of sunshine. It has been a few shit weeks of weather, but it's looking good. And whenever we, we fire up and we get a bit of good weather, we need to come out here. It's Melbourne. It's a little bit unpredictable here. And this is another, this is a reason why I'm leaving uh, at, towards the end of the year is I'm just chasing some better weather but in the meantime we make the most of this and uh, we come out here on days like this and I just wanted to hang out with you guys and I wanted to talk about um, hard and choosing your hard I'm telling you guys uh, the, through the process that I put up on my Instagram every single day uh, I've gotten a few people to try this out and what they, they all the biggest common denominator that they do tell me is that 4.30 a.m. wake up, it's hard. 5 a.m. wake up, it's hard. Training every single day is hard, you know? I don't, I don't want to eat this. Eating that, that's hard, but I want to eat this. I don't really read. Like, it's hard for me to read, you know? And then the most important one is I can't. I, I couldn't stop drinking. That's, that's the hardest thing ever. Or I can't stop doing drugs. You know how hard it is for me to stop doing drugs? And this is the thing, like, think about when, when you're saying that and you're thinking that to yourself, just think about people around you. Stop thinking about yourself. Look at it yourself from like a third eye, point, third eye point of view and think like a bird's eye point of view and just go like, who else is depending on me? Like, you got family that have brought you into this world. Maybe you've got a daughter, brother, sister. You got a mum. She's given everything to you. Dad. And they look up to you, you know, and they, they go, they want you the best for you, you know what I mean? And you're out there trashing your body through all these shocking habits. And think of the pain that you're giving them when you're choosing to be less, you know what I mean? And you don't want to do something or it's hard for you to do that because I'm telling you, it's fucking hard to be average. It is very hard to be average, yeah? And it's very hard to be exceptional, but you need to choose your hard guys. Like it's almost like being rich and being someone that has money. You know what I mean? That's like abundance with money. That all comes with a set of problems and they are both hard, but you really, really need to choose that. And I'm telling you guys that if you, if you, if it's hard for you to think like, think about yourself and how you're going to do it, just think about them. For me, I don't really have any dependence right now. I just think about, I do it for my loved ones, my, my parents and people that I care about around me and going, I don't want them to see me at my absolute worst, just fucking choosing to be less every single day, taking life for granted and not being the best that I could be. That fucking bothers me and I'm not doing that again. You know what I mean? So guys, I'm telling you, choose your hard wisely because it is, it's coming for you. And the best thing about it guys is, is it doesn't have to be hard for forever. Like when you're building a new habit, I'm telling you guys, these set of habits that I'm, that I'm talking about build you up in every single way. Like the early wake up, the, the, the workout every single day, proper macronutrients, um, reading and reflecting, getting new information and applying it, and then quitting all vices. This builds you in every single way and it'll turn you into being an absolute weapon. If you're a fisherman, It'll, it'll turn you into the best fisherman, you know, you could be, you're the most disciplined guy, you're going to be the most ripped guy over there, if you're in construction, me, you're going to be the fucking best there, like, you know what I mean, you're going to fucking stand out, if you work in a fish and chip shop, like, you're going to be the best cunt there, because you're going to be the most dis disciplined, you're going to care about yourself and other people, you're going to set it, be the example, that's it, and you can, you can replicate this in anywhere in life, and then if you want to coach people, if you get yourself to a stage where you can coach people, awesome you know what I mean like you can teach people that too people need to see you turning up uh, and showing self-love for yourself and then they know that if you can look after yourself you can look after them like it's a deep psychological thing that's why being in shape is so favored and revered and like not everyone can do it and I was saying that there's more people in America with a with a million dollars in a six pack what the fuck you know what I mean so and that's a fact guys you know what I mean so it's never been easier to stand out guys so in a world that's riddled with instant gratification, uh, just literally pleasure seeking, whatever, you can stand out and just be like the, can be better than everyone else. You know what I mean? If you make that choice, but it is a choice. You need to first be pissed off and the pain of letting people down and disappointing people has to be fucking greater than like what you feel in this current moment. So I say do it for them. 
They are counting on you. How many people have you let down along the way? How many people do you think are waiting for you to get your shit together? Sort it. So you can just fucking sort it out and be the best possible version for them, you know? And I'm telling you guys, it's absolutely worth it. Since I've started this journey five months ago, I'm not the same person as I was, you know? Uh, and I'm telling you, it comes at a cost too, yeah? A lot of people, like, some people won't like this new version of you. And that's all right. But, like, at what cost? Like, what, you're going to change for them, like, and keep changing for them so you fit, like, a pigeonholed version of, and a, like, a like you, you fit in a box that they've put you in, you know what I'm saying? Or they can literally just accept the new version of you or not and fucking then that's all right you know what i mean but you need to be better guys and i'm telling you guys that it's absolutely worth it since i've started doing this i am a different person my energy is different the way that i think about uh and i treat people uh how i turn up for work my best self little things my grooming uh my energy um i'm always focused on what energy i can give people and how do i make people feel after they leave me i'm telling you guys it is definitely worth it, but hey, it's hard, and I'm telling you, it, but I've chosen my hard. I prefer it to be this hard than be a fucking loser, an average person, because you just blend in. You don't matter. You live a life that doesn't matter, and I'm telling you guys, don't be under any illusion. The people that are at the top, top level, they are doing things that we're not prepared to do. That's why they are where they are, you know, and the information is everywhere, but it's just applying it. So my question to you is, what hard do you want? Which hard are you gonna try? Which hard are you gonna commit to? Because I'm telling you right now, I'm not fucking committing to being a fucking broke, pussy, out of shape, weak person that's constantly on drugs, alcohol, and all that shit. That is fucking hard, you know what I mean? And I don't want that hard. So my question is, yeah, which hard are you gonna choose? <laughs> that was just a little, little thought that I had for today. I love you guys, if you're choosing the hard, which is being jacked, being fucking waking up early, like having respect for yourself, treating people with respect, doing all that kind of stuff, I commend you. And uh, yeah, guys, life's there to be taken on and conquered. Don't just exist, stand out and live, you know? And um, that's just, what, yeah, anyway, that's just all I wanted to say, guys. But um, if you found any value from this, if this resonated in any way, good. I want you to tell me, is this something that you're work, constantly working towards now? Or, you know, are you not ready to start yet? Let me know in the comments. And uh, I love you guys. Uh, I'll definitely be out in the park more when the weather's up and about. And uh, yeah, guys, if you, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I love you. So I'll see you in the next one.